Hi everyone, my name is Ellie and I'm one of your ride instructors here at One Rebel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about how to properly set up your bike for your next ride session. So starting with your saddle, you want to make sure that the saddle height is in line with the centre to midsection of your hips. So as long as your uh, saddle is parallel, then you'll be absolutely fine. So to do that, all we're going to do is reach underneath where your saddle is. There's a little lever with sort of a yellow line across it. All we're going to do is just lift that up and then you'll be able to move your saddle up and down as you need to. Now, once you've found that correct height, there's actually some numbers on the opposite side, which you can just remember for the next time you come in for a super quick and easy setup. When your saddle height is a little bit too low, you'll find that your quads will be working a lot harder than the rest of the muscles in your legs. So you want to try and avoid that again by just bringing that saddle that little bit higher so that when we're cycling, that stroke, your knee is sort of 90% extended at the bottom. Now, again, if it is that little bit too low, you'll find that you have less power, you have less strength in the lower body. So just by lifting and elevating that saddle, you'll have a much more comfier ride. So moving on to your handlebars, we're just going to to raise them up again in exactly the same way by just touching this little lever at the front to be just slightly above where your saddle is. Ultimately you want to be nice and open towards your instructor relieving any tension from your upper or lower back and again it's just going to be a much comfier ride with those handlebars that little bit higher above your saddle. And the last thing I want to talk about is the distance between your saddle and your handlebars. Now, a foolproof tip that always works for me is bringing that elbow to the nose of the saddle, resting those fingers in that first position. Now, those fingertips should just about touch right in the center here. If you do need to change that, there's two different ways. We can come down right at the front and we can just open that up. You can then move your handlebars forwards and back. Just remember to lock it into place. It's never fun when you forget. And then underneath the back of your saddle as well. You can open that up. You can move your saddle backwards and forwards. So again, just before you get on the bike, double check that that distance is right for you. And that is pretty much your setup. Make sure it feels comfortable. We do need to make any adjustments, bringing that saddle up a little bit more, maybe dropping it down a touch. And again, with your handlebars, we want a nice open posture. We want that weight to be sort of that mid to back part, just so you can free up any weight on the front of those handlebars, freeing up that body for some gorgeous choreography from your lovely instructors.